Hello, golf friends. Gary Bates here from the Gary Bates Golf Academy. Thank you for joining us for Tour Swing Tuesday. I'm a PGA teaching professional and certified V1 video analysis coach. So a couple, three times a year, I like to go out on tour and take a look in person at some of the players, take some videos. And so I did that this past week at the tournament in Hartford at uh, the Travelers. And so I have some fresh video for you guys that I think you'll like. So up here I have Francisco Molinari, very fine player, won the British Open a few years ago. And I want to take a look at his swing and then point out something that's very important. And then I want to tell you a story at the end that I think can help you that's very related to his golf swing. Okay, so let's take a look at this. It's the 11th hole out there. Uh, par three downhill. So he's got like a nine iron, something like that, uh, maybe eight. And so ball position a little back. Now, this is not the best camera angle, but it is still a camera and you're going to see some interesting moves. Okay. Taking it back into motion. So good with his stance. I like his setup. His grip's very neutral, right? So his V's probably, you know, towards his chin, maybe, maybe his right ear. That's just fine. As he goes back, does what all the good players do, right? Rotating around their center, Hinging the wrist, that right hip. I can't tell you how many people I teach that kick out with their lower body. It gets them into a weird position where they roll on the outside of the foot. No, these guys turn around their center. Very important for you folks to do, myself included. Okay, so turning to the top. This is about right for an iron for most players. Probably about three-quarter length. There's some variation there. Um, you know, Phil Mickelson has always been well beyond parallel. Somebody asked him, Phil, don't you think you should tighten your swing up some, you know, a little bit? And, you know, he said in an interview, why? Like gives you good rhythm, right? And he's had pretty good rhythm. So rotating around the center, waiting the inside of the right foot. And then Francisco has this beautiful transition. Really like this golf swing a lot. Uh, very good transition, right? So that lower body, the kinetic sequence moving laterally, then rotary, right? And so that's very good too. So really kind of fundamentally orthodox in a sense here. Okay, now moving into the hitting area, pretty much what we see when that left arm is parallel to the ground, kind of making that letter L, a little blurry there. But you see that position in the backswing when the left arm is parallel, 90 degree angle, and on the downswing. Now, one of the things he's doing here that I am not a fan of, and I don't see this very often actually, in fact, of the hundreds of swings that I have in my database, I can only think of one other, Jason Duffner, that moves the head this much laterally. This can make you hit some funny shots. And so um, I would really recommend that you keep that head still throughout your golf swing. Now, when your right shoulder hits your chin, you can move uh, into that left side. So you can move the body all the way through, but until your right shoulder hits your chin, your head wants to stay in that circle, so you hit ball divot. Very, very important. Uh, hit, getting down to the hitting area. This is excellent, right? Left leg halfway through the line. Excellent. Nice divot. Left arm and shaft realigned. A plus. But that head, you, we can't have that much move, movement, in my opinion. I think he's struggling. And a little bit, this could be why, okay? Arms extended into the follow through, right? And then up on that right toe. So beautiful here. But Francisco, I'd clean this up because you're a champion and I think you'll get back there soon. Okay, so on to the story here. Very, very important. I think a great lesson for you and for me. I was out 2001. My brother was playing on the Buy.com tour at the time, now Corn Ferry tour. He wasn't playing that great. He had won early in the year. It was getting towards the end of the year. I was out there working with this game, doing some looping, and we're hitting some balls on Rancho Cucamonga with Ben Crane. And Ben Crane's teacher's with him, Carl Welty, very fine teacher. And I said, Carl, will you take a picture of vi a video of Pat also? You know, maybe we can look at it inside afterwards. We did that. He put Pat up on the screen, and we couldn't. I couldn't believe, he couldn't believe how much his head moved off the ball. No wonder Pat was hitting funny shots with the scoring irons. So I brought in Pat. I said, Pat, check a look at this, how much we're moving off it. We're, we're moving off. That's what Caddy say. Um, when their player shoots 65, we shot 65, he shot 75. Anyhow, he said, Carl said, was, guys, have you never done a head study? I don't see any players doing that. Pat and I look at each other like, <gasps> well, next day, Pat went out with 700 through 60 through 16 holes, played tremendous. Get on that video from time to time. Make sure you're doing what you're doing. Facebook, Gary Bates Golf Academy, YouTube, subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Love your comments. We always appreciate you being with us. It means a lot to us. We're hoping to, we're hoping to build the channel. We appreciate your support. God bless you. Anything you need, reach out. And we'll see you next time on Tour Swing Tuesday. By, that, what, by the way, that beep in the middle, don't know what that was. Bye for now.